Hello, welcome to Train TV. Saya hari ini bersama dengan David Mawuto and Kosi Adetu, bekas player Negeri Sembilan FC dan mereka sekarang uh, berada di Malaysia untuk uh, menyambung karya bola mereka masih di sini because mereka sangat-sangat minat bermain di sini dan saya akan tanya mereka a few questions today um, mengenai karya diorang dan juga advice yang ada untuk um, potential footballers uh, here locally. So, uh, I'd like to start with David, David Mawuto. Um, he plays a position of central midfielder. Mm -hmm. Yes, correct? Yeah. yeah. Um, so, David, um, how how do you find your experience in Malaysia so far? Mm, good, so far. So far, good. Uh, the people, the culture here, because uh, this is my second Asia country I've been to, so the culture here is also and the weather also is still like uh, in Ghana, so I'm more uh, adapted to it. Yes, yes. Yeah. And what what is your what is your favorite so far experience uh, as you have been in Malaysia uh, mm. for about what six yeah. eight months now? Uh, six months. Right? Six months. Yeah. Yes. The food is very chilly, man. Yeah. Uh, and what's your what's your favorite Malaysia food? The uh, nasi kerabu. Nasi <laughs> Kerabu, that's, yeah. that's very nice. What a good choice David Mawuto have. Huh? Yeah. So, um, Kusi, please do share with us what is what has been your favorite experience uh, ever since you've been in Malaysia? Yeah, there's no much difference. Because of I'm Kusi and I'm a central forward. Mm. Uh, come to experience that we have here, there's no more difference because uh, Malaysia is just like a uh, back in Africa, so we don't experience much difference when it comes to climate, when it comes to the weather, when it comes to our living, even if sometimes it's same like Africa, so we just see everything like a, the same way, yeah. mm. so we don't experience much difference. Yeah. Mm. So, maksudnya rakyat-rakyat Malaysia ni kalau pergi Afrika, kita boleh adapt yeah. accordingly lah dengan how it is over there. So. What is your favorite food in Malaysia? Okay. My favorite food in Malaysia? How mm. many? Mm. Asilema, <laughs> uh, uh, Rossi Chana, oh. you know, a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. Oh. We just eat like the way we eat in Africa, you know? Right. Yes. Right. And the most important thing is that the food is not that expensive. So, yes, yes uh, we can afford much as we can. And mm. then you choose anyway. Mm. So that's it. So let's talk a little bit about their career background or history of how they started playing football. Yeah. So uh, we'll start with you, David. Uh, if you can share with us, uh, yeah. when did you start and how did you start getting into football? So I started playing uh, when I was in, uh, uh, let's say, let me say, grade uh, nine. Mm, yeah, when I was in Ghana, it's the different we say, uh, uh, GSS. A, a, bit, you know. a bit late, I would say. Yeah, a yes. bit late, yeah. yeah. I didn't play in an academy. Mm. I didn't have the chance to play in an academy because mm. we, we, nobody was willing to take me to the academy. Yeah. Okay. I went to Tajikistan, that's why I started playing. Okay. So, and then, you know, as you know, I have, a, I'm a, I have two nationalities. I'm a Ghanaian and then I have a Tajik nationality. Okay. So that's where I started playing. Uh, I played my first, my first club I played. Uh, I remember it was a half season, so I won the league with them and then I just played second year also. Then from there we played with, uh, I played to the biggest club over there. Mm. So that's how we started it. Keep dreaming because I, I'm yes. never satisfied with the position yes. I am. Yes. You know what I know is, when you're comfortable at one place, that's not where you're going to yeah. I like to feel comfortable in places. Yes. Yeah. And then over here. Wow, wow, fantastic. You see, uh, a lot of sacrifices that have been put in uh, for David uh, to get into the career that he has now. So football is not easy, it's a challenging environment and for up and coming footballers it's always about working hard and putting yeah. in the effort yeah. in order to be where you are uh, or where you want to be eventually. Uh, so Kosi, 
Oh yeah. Maybe maybe you can share with us a bit about your background and history, how you get into football, and when did you get into football? Yeah, actually, maybe a footballer or becoming a footballer at this level have yeah, always been my whole lifetime because my father is he was a, an international coach. Yeah, he coach in many countries. So when I was a kid, I was good in school, but uh, I reached a level at the university level when I discovered that if I, I continue going to school, I cannot become a president. Yes, because I was good. So since I have the opportunity, since my father is a coach, and then if he is in second division, he take me there. Mm. If it is in Premier League, he take me there. Yes. So almost all the process have been with him until yes, when I get 16 years older that. Mm. So I move on to Liberia. I moved to Liberia when I, I joined the Premier League in Liberia. Yes. yes, I've done a lot of things there. You know, I played like a three to four season in there. I won goal issue twice, mm. and then I go back to Ghana. I go top back top to, goal scorer. Yes, 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 yes. I go back to Ghana where we have a background from Ghana because I'm a Togolese Ghanaian. So okay. in that matter, I play one season in Ghana and I return back to Liberia again. I win goal issue, top scorer, yeah. and then from there. Yeah, the league became so level for me, so I decided to move on, mm. you know, to move on to Egypt and then from there I, I begin to feel that uh, I can become who really I want to be, like a footballer. And this is where I got the opportunity to come to, to Malaysia, mm. to Malaysia where everything started for the first phase. Yeah, but we, from my, our experience, uh, I've discovered that uh, uh, I got uh, some painful, or let me just say, unfortunate. A beginning of season yes. that have slowed me down to get adapt to yeah the, the league here yeah. but so far so good everything has been good yeah everything yeah. has been good yeah. yeah so um what got you to actually come to Malaysia uh, how how did you hear about the yeah. opportunity to come back there is always a in a pursuit to become uh, the the fo footballer that we want to be hmm. okay yeah so everywhere that there's a job you need to go there and then fought your way through to always mm. continue moving to the higher level. So mm. that is stay in, in that manner that we, since Malaysia job was available, mm. then we need to put ourselves in to, 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 to be here. So from here we can target another opportunity also some way. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. how we be like that. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so you guys heard it as well from uh, Kosi to the struggle and the challenges that he went through. Similarly to David, and how difficult it was to actually get his name to be established in the football market and, and to get to where he is today. So again, kids out there, it's not easy, but you have to have the commitment and the drive to follow through if you want to do this in a, as, as a career eventually. So um, David, maybe you can tell us a bit, uh, how, do you, how do you find out about train? Oh yeah, I... It's Kosi actually who mm. told me about him because he went there. After he's he, 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 he is angry, he told me that he's been doing you know, the treatment and kill. Yeah. I don't want to talk about stuff, but yeah. so and I was like, oh, okay, that's good. And so I told him, okay, maybe I'll be, be going there for training or some kind of mm. stuff. Mm. And then within a within a week or two, and then I had a, a mm. twist at my knee. Yes. So yes. he told me, okay, so we go there and then you try it. If you like it, okay, you stay. Mm. If you don't like it, you can change it. Try yeah. it for a physiotherapy center. Mm. So that's when I came for the first day and I okay, saw this place, there are workers, and, you know, the way they, they still received us and everything, you know. Mm. Because they, they work with their heart and everything. And so I mm. like this place, so that's why I'm still here. Yes, so yes. Training, because they give everything. And then I started a treatment and then uh, you know, SEL and then uh, LCL meniscus, right? Mm. You, you, they told me I can't, I can't run for, I need mm. to wait for three months before I start running. Mm. When I came here and then um, I started the treatment, within a week I started already started running and then mm. in a month I started playing again. Fantastic, wow. Yeah. So. Yeah. And, and I heard it happened to you as well, right? You. You were given a timeline of six to eight weeks or nine weeks, yes. But you actually came back within two weeks' time. So please uh, guide us through a bit about yes, your experience. When I, at the beginning of the season, the last preseason match, when I got injured, so I was hurt because uh, he's, he was my, my, my 
uh, uh, my prayer to always start the season in a good note. Mm. So when I got injured, so I was uh, in search for a physiotherapy because since we have been traveling for so many in so many countries, so we know exactly uh, what we need for mm. our body. Yeah. Of course. So yeah. So in that manner, I've asked a friend, Mark Buron. Yeah, we're playing the same thing. So you know, me like, okay, you can give them a try. Yes, but uh, uh, they are expensive, but they, mm. they know what to do. Yes. yes, I said, but since if it's that, our health is more important. Yes. Yeah, our health is more important than the, just to be there. So I've made my way to come in. So at my coming, I've experienced that everything that I needed or everything that is needful is here. So I'm making like my home there. And uh, to to recall. and then my injury was uh, so intense that it was a tear, second grade, yeah, quadriceps. That I needed to wait for so many uh, the long period of time. Yeah, so the doctor do the examination. He say six to nine weeks. Mm -hmm. But and then I came here. You he were present. Mm -hmm. He told me that we can start doing something and see how you go. Yeah. But in less than three weeks, I was ready. Yeah. And I go back in the league and then. I make impact. Yes. Yes. Of course. Yeah. I make impact. Direct impact. Yeah. So, in that manner, we we, we choose this play to do our recovery, rehab, yeah. whether injure or not injure, because we need as a professional football to keep on moving forward. So of that's why we always choose a training. Yeah. Of course. And of top course. it all is because the boss here also was a, was a footballer, so he knows what. The football, we need the athletes, then we need to recover faster. Yeah, and then, yeah, of course. You know, the job and the training and everything. That's perfect. The best in uh, yeah, Asia. Yeah, appreciate that. Appreciate that. And, and of course, uh, we here, we try our best to actually get because athletes, when you talk about professional athletes, especially, you don't have the time. Yeah. You need to be out there immediately. Yeah. So that is the whole idea of train, of why we design what we do, yeah. is to actually speed up the recovery and make sure our methodology that we use is the best possible way to actually get the athletes back to playing. But at the end of the day, it's still the athletes, it's still their commitment, and it's still their effort to actually get back to playing. So um, I guess the question that everyone's been waiting for especially the younger generation out there who wants to play football we're going to ask direct from from these guys with their experiences um, what would be your advice for young footballers who looks at um, you know football as a career what's the best advice you can give to them yeah I, uh I'm sorry, I, I don't know the mentality here because I, when I'm in Lagos, I get players over there, they, they jump, you know, you know, they jump players, you know, I ask them, hey, why are you, why are you playing a big, little big clubs? Why are you not playing outside? Hmm. And they, they, would, they would tell me, ah, because I'm so young. 20, 20, 22 years, you're so young, no, you, 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 know, you need to have a target. Hmm. You need to follow your dreams, you need to put a target. And by this year, I need to be here. And that, when you, when, when, when you have a target and focus, you work towards it. Mm. But here they were ah, because I'm because I'm Malaysian, so I can go outside and stay. No, if you want to play football, then be hundred percent. Yes, it, it doesn't have to be fifty fifty. No, when you play football, I mean, football is a word that needs hundred percent concentration. Of course, you throw you on the floor, you know, you're never be stuck and you can't play. Yeah, of course. Yeah, so you need to focus on it. Keep everything yeah. you have. You get whatever you want. Yeah. Mm. You can get to the Premier. Uh, it doesn't mean. You, I don't think doesn't I don't care whether you are Malaysian. Oh. If you put on you put in hard work, yeah. you can be in the Premier League, in the Spanish League, ever. Yeah. Wherever you want to be. Yes. Just put in the hard work. Yeah. And yeah. believe in yourself most important. You yeah. believe in have confidence. Don't be afraid of other players or something. Just yeah. believe in yourself. Yeah. There's no player like you. Yeah. So so the key thing guys that David just mentioned is setting that goal. That, uh, that objective, that, that eventual destination that you'd like to reach and setting it high and not putting it mediocre, you know, setting it high so that you work hard for it. So that is what David is trying to say and especially in football you need to put in the commitment and the training behind it to actually get to the goal that you want to achieve eventually. So what about you Kosi? Maybe you can share a bit. Um, yeah, so I always say that uh, to be a footballer is not an easy thing. Yeah, we just finished from session. It's not easy to go to training for one hour, two hour, three hour a day. 
Yeah, so FUBO is a full-time commitment, okay? Full-time commitment. That means that you cannot choose to become a footballer, a pro, yeah. if you are not fully committed. Yes. Yeah, that, that goes with the discipline. Yeah, uh, sometimes, uh, for example, there are countries that is cold, there yeah. are countries that the sun is hot, but this is the time for training. You need to be in there. So it's not for lazy people, you know? It's not yes. for lazy people, so it's a full commitment. Whether you are feeling pain, uh, worry about it's rainy, sunshiny, it must be there because it's really time. And then you yeah. take self discipline, as I say, full commitment to become what? That footballer. So, so if you want to become a pro, if you want to become a People see what's traveling from country to country, from country to country, is because we have, we have not given up. Yeah, we push up, we push up, yes, we push up, we go beyond our limit to become what? Yes, who we want to be today. So, everyone else are there, anybody else are there who want to become that footballer that you wish to become, yes, must go extra mile. Okay, must go extra mile. It's not to be thinking like, okay, let me do this tomorrow, let me do this tomorrow. No, no, if you want to play football, go into a hundred percent then you will become the person you want to be yeah. because a lot of people do not have time some of them do not have time but hard work hard yeah. work hard work determination hard work no stopping and we are here today of we are here today so a lot of people have talent but they are lazy yeah. they are lazy yeah nobody yeah. knows this okay so we become clear today because we are, we continue pushing until yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's it. Just like any other thing in the in the uh, in the world today, especially football, what OC is saying is you cannot get comfortable because once you get comfortable, you will stop working. Yeah. Football, especially, is not just about the talent; it's also about your physical ability, your your strength, and all the other elements that actually get you to last and sustain in your career for the longest time. So it's been a good fantastic conversation uh, having these two guys here today and maybe you have a final word to say to to the people watching mm -hmm. I want to say I uh, like Mike, uh, uh, Mike Tyson said he said uh, discipline discipline is always what you hate but you do it like you love it yes you, know, you, you, you do what you don't like but you do it like you love it yeah. and I, well, the final thing I want to say is uh, Guys, you, you need to come here and uh, try and just come and say that, try it yourself. If, if it doesn't work for you, you can move back. Because we are, we are here and we, are, we, we feel like we are home. We, we come here every time, train, you know, start training, you feel great, and then yeah. you get results. That's the most important, you yeah. get results. It doesn't matter with your injury, your whatever you have, just come here and for the treatment. Yeah. Yeah. It's amazing over here. And the people yeah. around here, you know, with love, with love. Yeah. It's, it's amazing how huh? you drive an hour, an hour and a yeah, half we, we, every day to actually get here. We, we drive an hour and a half to just come here for training. Yeah. People might say it's full, really but because we know what we, we get yeah. here. So. Yeah, that's the sort of commitment that these guys were talking about. Imagine every single day turning up to train an hour and a half drive uh, to, to get, you know, literally and being killed by <laughs> <laughs> I did not want to say the word but he said it to get killed <laughs> uh, every single training session <laughs> so Kosi you have any final words to say to them yeah it's just like a, a car yeah David always told me that because me I, I used to be careless of taking care of my body yes yeah but it's a rich label that I, I, I discovered that to be a pro, you need to maintain your body also. Yes. Yeah, your, your health is much important in this business. Of course. Because like a car, if a car broke down, yeah. you don't service it, it doesn't move. Yes. Yeah, so your body needs a, a constant treatment. Okay. Yes. And in training, yeah, this is the opportunity that we have. They not only uh, train you, but they treat you. Yes. And they know how to treat you to get you trained and then uh, and put you on track so yeah give a try to train it this is the only thing i get to tell you, you know? yeah yeah uh, training i wake up the beast out of me you know? <laughs> waking up the beast that's good to me. hear yeah. Yeah. yeah so thank you kosi adetu for joining us today okay. and thank you okay. as well david yeah. uh, yeah. mawoto for joining us please stay tuned and subscribe to our channel and uh, 
keep keep checking us out because we'll have more contents about uh, yes <laughs> we'll have more contents like this uh, moving forward in the future so i'll see you guys soon thank you and take care Word. Treatment. 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 Treatment.